Hello, this is the CV19 Surfy Rescue Package. What you'll get is the blank. You get your uh, aqua coat. This is how Boatcraft Pacific makes this beautiful aqua coat water based varnish. A paintbrush, sanding block, and several pieces of, this, of sandpaper. So when you get your board, the first thing you do is you caress it and feel it and think of the life that this tree has already lived because it's a very living thing, these pieces of wood. The tree was there for maybe 18 years, then cut down. You can see it was a very big tree by the rings in it. Here, you can see this knot right here. That was a branch one time. But anyways, these blanks are spectacular. It's taken me a long time to develop the surfy blank. And the thing about them is they're very flexible. <laughs> and the way I've done that so that they don't crack and maintain flex is I have, there's four layers in this blank. One layer is flat on the bottom, then one layer goes like that, then one layer goes like that, and then one layer on the top like that. And it's vacuum bagged down. So it doesn't crack. It, it'll, it'll bend, but it doesn't break. But they do twist. And that's one thing about having the, the layers like that. So if you get it and you leave it in the car or you pull it out of the bag even for the first time and it's flattened out or it looks a little bit twisted or a little bit funny, it will come back. It's just that the different layers inside have a little bit of different moisture content. And if it continues to be twisted, just put some books on it and it'll straighten out. It'll be fine in the end. And if it's a little bit twisted in the water, it doesn't matter anyway. So when you get your board, the first thing you do after you love it is you get your um, 80 grit and you want to roll around the nose and just, just roll it off a little bit and the bottom as well. Roll it off so it's nice and smooth. Little half circle there. And then if there's any other rough spots, then the next thing is you take the next grit down, the 180 grit and the sanding block and just give it a good sand up and down and you'll feel the board get smoother as you sand it. And especially on the rails here. Nice and smooth, long strokes like that. And then after that, if you really feels good, take your 400. And again, especially on the bottom or wherever, wherever, well, especially on the bottom of the rails, just keep sanding it until it's really beautiful. It really should take you about 20 minutes at least per grit of sandpaper going down. You don't need to hit the bottom of the board with the 80 unless there's, unless there's a glue mark or something that you, or a rough spot that you wanna get out. After you put your art on, this aqua coat made by Boatcraft Pacific is amazing. It, it goes over crayons, pastels, acrylics, and pretty much anything this will go on and keep it on top of the board uh, and, and protect it. But because this is a water-based uh, varnish, when it goes on the wood here, the little bits of wood that, uh, that aren't flat, the little microscopic pieces will stick up. There's little, little kind of toothpicks or edges that will stick up like that. And you wanna, after the uh, varnish dries, you wanna sand those back. And sometimes that takes the, a, a bit of effort. So now this board, well, it's uh, just about ready to go. Put some art on it. So I'm gonna grab some, uh, some of my uh, acrylic watercolors over here and put a big fish on it. Well, this is my fish. Now it's time to varnish it. And now the artwork has dried on this side. So let's paint up or varnish up. And the beauty of this varnish is it's like rubber when it dries. So it will flex and not crack. So it really lasts a long time on these boards. And it has been one of the uh, overriding secrets to my ability to make flexible surfboards, my finless and then the corky nose riders. Then one of the keys to this is not getting drips because it doesn't, it does, it's not the greatest sanding varnish of all time because it dries so rubbery. So if you can avoid getting drips, it just means you don't have to struggle through sanding them off later. Okay, it's been a couple of hours and the varnish is dry on the top and the bottom. And you come up to the nose here and you can feel that it's a bit rough. So we're gonna want to 
take our 400 here and just go around it just a bit with a bit of a block there. And that's about all you need. It's just uh, finally sand off the rails. And then the bottom of the board, it's a bit more roughed up. We can take the, um, the 180 grit and give that a, a, a rub down first like this. Then go the 400, again, to smooth it all off, to make it nice and smooth. Put four coats on. Obviously, when you're working, it's a good idea to have a towel or a shirt or something to work on so you don't scratch the board. And after four coats, it will be beautiful, it'll be shiny, and it will last a very, very long time and give you years of enjoyment.